Welcome back to another episode of Fallout Builds. This is another PvP build. This one is a melee form armor build. So first of all, we've got the armor-plated backpack. We have some thorn armor with one cryo resistance. Some poison resistance, one strength. And then we have a chameleon cryo resistance as well. And then we have a land yielding set for just for when you want to farm and stuff, but that's fine. So for the chest piece, we have the polymer the first mod and the asbestos linen polymer again so you'll have polymer on all of your your form that's the best damage resistances you're going to get we have weighted for the arms so both your arms are going to be weighted and then i've got custom fitted for both of the legs The weapons you can be using are anything ranging between your chainsaws, your one-handed, or even your your punchy punchies, your uh, your unarmed. Personally, if you're going to be doing it, you'd want an executioner. The bloodied's all right. If you're at the bloodied threshold, the best weapon to use would be the bloodied. Um, the bloodied 40 is the ideal one. Bloodied 40, 40 is even better, or bloodied one strength, but it takes a while, more grafted, and eventually you'll get there. The executioner swing speed one strength there, and the bloodied swing speed one strength gauntlet there. The cryolator again, just in case if you ever get hit with the cryolator and you decide you need to unfreeze yourself. So I have one ammo inside the cryolator. And I'll just switch, jump, switch back, you know. You, you can apply it. all the things you need. So the build's quite versatile itself with the strength. So we have obviously the rank twos of Gladiator, because I don't feel like you need to hit. You you can have good damage with this and still hit high damage numbers. And the foreign damage on top as well will bleed. Um, just try it out for yourself and you'll see. You don't need to max out all your uh, damage perks for when you're in PvP, if you're good enough and you know what you're doing. Grenadier. I'm not too sure whether this works with hack and slash, um, but I have it on just with that anyway. Uh, you can obviously run concentrated fire and whatnot. And we've got the usual suspects for like life giver, lead belly. We've got adamantium skeleton. If someone hits you with a pepper shaker and they're in PA, just you are going to have this kind of glitch at the moment where you're constantly crippled. You can't sort it out unless you see you leave the server. So just. Just bear that in mind, but Adamantium Skeleton, Cola Nut, Fireproof, and Radical. For Charisma, as always, again, overly generous. Party Girl for your, your vodka and your whiskeys. Lone Wanderer. Field Surgeon, Stranger Numbers, and Tenderizer Rank 2. First Aid Free, Nerd Rage. Through Hiker, Born Survivor, Dodgy, Bloody's Mess. Serendipity, Curator, and Starch Jeans. So for the Strength 1, so here, you can quite easily just take out, you know, Rank 2's Gladiator. Uh, for the Chainsaws, you don't need uh, the Swing Speed perks. They don't work for that. You know, then you can just change it to all Rank 3 Sluggers, and then you're good for the Chainsaw. Or if you wanted to do the punch in. Blocker is a good one for melee builds too. That counters if someone else is using um, melee on you. It reduces the damage to you. There it is. Iron Fist. So that's good for the Power Fist as well. So you've got these ones. And then if they're running bloodied, I like using the Executioners. Okay. 
It's legendary perks, a hack and slash, funky duds, sizzling style, take them one for the team, endurance five, and charisma. Charisma I like because you can share perks and help out your team. It's, it's a really handy thing to have for PvP. People sleep on it quite a lot, but, you know, each to their own. So we're going to go on to the buffs. So we will take in serums again every hour on the hour for the build. So adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, head head, uh, melee bobblehead. You could take a, a grognag, or you could take one of these. These also work. The grounded, healing factor, red mentality. Overdrive Psycho buff. You could take a Rad X Diluted. Preferably you want a Rad Shield because the Rads with the Thorn can get a bit overwhelming. Scaly Skin. The Usuals. There you go. If you feel like they're doing a bit of damage, you can just pop one of these instead, you know, but you can keep the damage up with, with one of these books. Okay, and then on to the food buffs. Company tea, fried rad roach on a stick, glowing meat, gold per foot, nuka bottle, rad wrap, rad scorpion, yaogwai pastry, and obviously the yaogwai ribs or the steak, but either one doesn't matter. It's been Turkey Piffles reporting for duty. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe, and be sure to check out the other content. Peace.